Here's what's referred to as a strep drill. This one's specifically used for the Craig pocket hole jig to make holes on an angle. Two different size hole, one for the head, and then the smaller one is actually for the screw itself. And then you use self-tapping screws to pull everything together. The silver part here is a collar and it'll set the depth of the cut. Here we've got another drill, similar to a Forstner type style bit, slightly different. Uh, carbide cutters on it so it'll last a long time. This is meant for cutting holes for European hinges. It's a 35 millimeter. This here is a combination drill. This has a countersink on it and it also has a long drill through it that's going to drill a shank hole. These are plug cutters. These are used in combination with your combination drill or countersink. What they do is they'll cut a plug, a tapered plug, that you can drive into the hole to cover up the screw, you can cut it off afterwards, sand it away, and it'll pretty much disappear. This is a typical countersink. What this does is this allows for any screws that you have that have a taper underneath the head. It allows you to put them just below the surface or further in, generally uh, three eighths of an inch, which will allow you to put a plug in them and cover them up. Here I have a typical drill gauge. This allows you to find out what size bit you have, whether it's the right size for what you want. In order to check it, what you do is you would, doesn't fit in that hole, slides up to the next hole, it slides right in, and you know by what's written on there, it's a 15 64th drill. Here I have a set of hole saws. They're put into a drill. They can do a variety of different size holes all the way up to six inch. Uh, the one to the far right, uh, pretty sure was for doing a uh, set of dead bolts and uh, doorknobs. The one in the center I used for doing a dryer vent from the inside of the house to the outside. And you can tell by the nice white shiny one to the left that it hasn't been used yet. They generally come in a set. Uh, this may have been part of a set, I'm not sure. But if you take the piece and put it on its side here, you're gonna see that there's a drill bit in the center. That gets you started. That'll center you on your hole. And then the teeth here are just like a standard saw. And what they'll do is they'll, they'll saw basically a circular hole, curve. There'll be a plug the size of the inside of the cutter that'll be left over afterwards. Just have to watch with these because they're very aggressive and you get slightly sideways in the hole they can actually throw the drill out of your hands. And don't ask me how I know that.